I'm going to teach you how to make dinner party vegetables. And if I'm going to make vegetables for a dinner party, they have to be easy to prepare, kind of impressive, healthy, because I've got a reputation to uphold, and uh, delicious. So we are going to use broccoli, delicious and very healthy. We're going to use cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and don't make that face. Brussels sprouts are delicious if they're prepared this way. Um, lemon and garlic, okay? So this is how it works. I have prepared everything because I don't want to use a knife on camera because I am somewhat klutzy. So this is how you do it. You want to chop your broccoli and your cauliflower into little florets. So like this size of florette, these and the broccoli, uh, the Brussels sprouts, I chopped into quarters, okay? That's my little piece of Brussels sprout, okay? And the garlic, you mince four cloves of garlic, okay? So this little piece is a clove of the head of garlic. So don't do four of these. That would be an awful lot of garlic. So four of these and you mince them, chop them up quite small. And then in a bowl, see, you have your broccoli, your Brussels sprouts, your cauliflower, and your minced garlic. And I put, I did pepper over the top. And it says a pinch of pepper. Pepper really is your call. It's to taste, whatever you, if you like a lot of pepper, then use a lot of pepper. Um, and then it says it calls, the recipe calls for sea salt, but I love this Himalayan pink salt. So that's what I used. And I just sort of over the whole thing and olive oil. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of olive oil. It kind of just depends on how much broccoli and cauliflower you're using. You just need to coat it. Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you. Once you chop everything up and it's small in pieces like this and you've washed it, you need to dry it very well. If it's very well dried, then it'll roast and, and get the way it's supposed to. If it's wet, then it might come out mushy. So you make sure you pat dry it so that it's quite dry. Um, and then you put, I used two tablespoons of olive oil and you just kind of mix it all up with the salt and the garlic and the minced garlic and you mix it all up and so it looks like that. Then you get a cookie sheet and you lightly grease it with olive oil. So all I did was I poured a dollop, just like a little bit like this of olive oil in the center of the cooking sheet and then I used a spreader and I just sort of wiped it all around and then you take your mixture and you just pour it on. It's really easy. And then you just pour it on and you cook at 425 for 25 minutes and halfway through you need to kind of flip the vegetables and stir them around so that they get grilled on or they get roasted on um, both sides evenly. So the magic of television or YouTube is that I have them in the oven now. So I can just simply pop them out and show you how beautiful they are. And I secretly already tried little pieces of this and they are divine. So this is what it looks like coming out of the oven, all beautifully golden. And oh my gosh, the garlic, it smells fantastic. And I'm going to even, like a cooking show, I'm going to plate it for you. So I'm just going to pop it on a romaine lettuce leaf like this. And are you wondering, where does the lemon come in? Where does the lemon come in? All right, so this is enough for our little plating. Put that aside, make it all nice and beautiful. Make sure you washed your hands. Now it says the, le the uh, juice of one lemon. But again, I think that's however much broccoli and what, how much do you want. So over the top, I'm just going to, you might wanna pick the little seeds out before you do that so nobody eats a seed. There's just two seeds sitting right on top there. Okay, look at you're ready for your dinner party vegetables. And I'm just gonna squeeze and drizzle. Drizzle the lemon over the top like this like that and it's ready to go okay i'm gonna get a fork and bite and bite into it so i can taste it i haven't i didn't taste it with the lemon yet so i'm going to taste it with the lemon oh my gosh mm -mm. okay it's absolutely delicious and fantastic if you guys try this you will be impressed and look at how easy it was i mean i did the chopping beforehand but it was just minutes in preparation and it's super healthy and light and um, impressive. 
Did you guys enjoy that recipe? If you did and you'd like the full recipe breakdown, then follow the link below to the blog. If you'd like more healthy recipes and weekly fitness tips, then click here and you can join our newsletter. Also, if you enjoyed this video and you're going to make this, then please subscribe. See you next time.